welcome to the show. <laughs> so my name is Michael. I'm founder of CEO of Imedis. Um, I hope everyone hears me well. I don't know, but if someone has, a, has an issue, please drop a message. I think you can write messages here inside the system. There's a chat option. So if there's any issue or any question, just let me know. So as I said, I'm the founder and CEO of Imedis. I'm a doctor. Mm, I've been a doctor since 2006 studied medicine in Germany and founded the company I met together with my friend and colleague Ben, who's also a doctor, Mr. Ben Elidrissi. Um, so what's, what, what is I met us? So the thing is, you know, I've been working in internal medicine mainly and in the emergency room and intensive care unit, emergency medicine, etc., and always had a lot of issues in getting patients information, right? So everyone of, know, of you know the, the, the situation Patients come to a hospital, you don't know anything about them, you don't have paperwork, you don't have old records, nothing. So we said, okay, there must be a system that, that offers you all this information, and there wasn't any. So we said, okay, let's develop something on our own, which we did. And we said, okay, um, we don't only want to have the medical data because the, you know, the, the e-health space is large and there are so many possibilities. And we, we didn't want to create a lot of single apps. So, you know, there are a lot of e-health applications out there, medical records, video chat, diabetes app, an app for blood pressure. We wanted to bring everything to one platform. And uh, so we decided to create Amelis as an ecosystem, like a healthcare operating system that combines all this information. So um, the system contains uh, the medical records. We have video chat with doctors. We have second opinions, so you can get for example, you want to get a surgery and you're not sure if you need the surgery, you can talk to other doctors and get a second opinion about that treatment. You can get prescriptions via the platform, you can get appointments, you can connect your tracker devices so you can connect your Apple Watch, you can connect with things, Fitbit devices, all this information can be put into the platform. Um, you can get six certificates and the system also has at the moment an e-learning and e-teaching module um, where you can get medical information for professionals and for patients. So both sides can profit from this e-learning and e-teaching module and everything is inside the same ecosystem. Um, I mean, right after the call, you can just go to our website, imedis.io and you can register yourself as a patient or when you're a professional, you can register as a doctor or a pharmacist or a nurse and can learn about the system. Um, so these, these tools are combined inside the system, but it's not only, only that. We also have, due to the corona um, virus pandemic, we have some COVID tools so you can monitor. If, um, if you have a COVID disease, you can monitor certain parameters. Um, also, you can um, store the vaccinations to the system. So when you got the COVID vaccination, you can put this into the system and can get also free help at the moment. So if you have questions, you can just go to the COVID support line and ask questions about the, the situation, about the disease or about the vaccination, whatever you like. Mm, you know, the thing, one of the main factors when we created the system was security and trust, right? So you know that trust is everything and people do have a lot of issues when it comes to, to trust in e-health platforms. So they say, okay, I go to the internet, I put in my information, who has access to it, who can read it, maybe my employer reads it, maybe my insurance company has access to it, no one wants that, right? And you can tell people as, as often as you like, no, people, they, guys, they will not get any access, they will no, no, no uh, inadequate access to your data, but they do not trust you. So we said, okay, we need to combine this with blockchain technology, which offers fantastic opportunities to, to give people trust in what's happening inside the system. So we, we added the blockchain, a private blockchain, where every transaction that is performed inside the system is stored via a unique transaction ID into the blockchain and only the patient has access to it. So it means, for example, your family doctor is storing an x-ray to your system or is adding a new diagnose or a new prescription. There is a transaction ID generated that says, Dr. XYZ created this and this file on that and that date and stored it into your file. So you know exactly what's happening inside the system. It's the same with the right management. You can, as a patient, exactly determine um, who can access your data, who can view your data, if you allow emergency um, access to the data by hospitals or so. This all can be, can be managed by yourself, and you can determine for each item inside the system who can read it, who can view it, who can edit it, um, which is very important. Um, we also face the issues of several 
um, juristical situation, for example, in Europe where we are active, um, there is this GDPR issue, right? So you have to have opt-in functionalities for each item. So you can select when you are in a GDPR uh, country that you want to have um, an opt-in functionality or when you're in the United States or in Asia or in Australia or wherever, you can use the opt-out um, option, which is more simple and um, more convenient, but that's, that's yet to decide. Um, together with the, with the platform, we, have, we are now launching a token, um, the Amedis token that gives token owners several possibilities and several advantages. So use can be used inside the system as a payment utility token, offer certain new functionalities for, for some tools I will talk about later, um, gives you governance options so you can determine about certain things that are happening inside the system. And it also has some DeFi functionalities I will also speak about later. Mm, you know, the system is not only, it's not only like a medical record for all these functions that I just said, because we said, okay, we want to put into it everything that makes sense in terms of e-health. Um, so the, the next thing we are going to launch um, is about data and you know the medical data is a very important um, very important matter when it comes to EL. So how do you use the data? How can patients profit of their own data? How can researchers, hospitals, doctors um, profit from the data? And it's, on the one hand you could say okay you can store it just as a zip file and can pass it on to whoever you like or sell it to whoever you like but we didn't take this approach. We've created the first um, medical and scientific NFT marketplace. We call it MLS Data Exchange, where, um, especially in the beginning, only um, hospitals or caregivers or research facilities can generate non fungible tokens out of medical data. That I, I don't know how many of you have already been in touch with NFTs, but you know, the thing about an NFT is it's a, it's a unique piece that is stored into the blockchain that can be easily followed up, that is immutable and that can contain a smart contract to determine who's paid for, for the things happening to the, to the NFT when it is sold. So we see a great opportunity here in the space because with the NFT you have the option to immutably store data in a certain structure inside this NFT. Um, you know exactly where the data is coming from, you know exactly where the data is going to. People can store the data, so the, the, the hospitals or the caregivers or the, the researchers can store the information anonymized so the patients information is not disclosed, you just have the, the raw data inside it and you always know where it's going and everyone is paid in the in the moment that the NFT is, is sold. So you have a great opportunity to to use, to get used to get use of the medical information. Um, and it also gives the possibility to finally monetize this data because up to now, you know, everyone knows that medical data is very um, valuable, right? So it's one of the most valuable data in the world, even more valuable than all the stuff at, at Facebook or Instagram, but no one knows exactly what the price is. So if I ask you guys, what would be the price for a, for an NFT or for a set of data from a patient that has a cardiac issue, has diabetes, blood pressure, maybe a cancer disease whatsoever, you don't know the price. And that's up to now a real problem in the pharmaceutical industry and in all this research uh, communities because you don't know how to handle this data and um, yeah so with this NFT you can you can you can do that and you can uh, determine the pricing of these these kind of information um, the next thing that we will launch will be I met virtual hospital that is a hospital information system new generation of hospital information system that is working completely differently than the existing solutions so many of you know the, the solutions from the United States or from Europe, um, and you know the medical software is often very bulky, you have a lot of menus and submenus, stuff like that, and I mean, this virtual hospital will, will use a very unique user interface, user experience to approach this kind of, um, of a treatment. You know, the patient can be part of the treatment process because he can take part in the, in the patient journey, so it will be an interactive patient journey that the patient is, is taking, or that is the patient is participating in, when, when, he's, when he's in hospital, for example. Um, good thing is that we, uh, hospitals will save a lot of time, patients will save a lot of time. I will describe it maybe, so let's imagine a patient comes to hospital, he is examined in one room, as soon as he's put into the room, 
doctors get in a message on their smartwatch or on their tablet, there's patient XYZ in this in this room, needs to be that and that done. Then the patient is going to the ward, there the treatments are planned and the patient can see, okay, these and these treatments are happening. You can take a smartphone and you can take a look at what's happening. Um, and the thing is that, you know, up to now it's when you're in hospital and I hope none of you have been so far, but when you're in hospital, you always want to talk to the doctor because tomorrow is the surgery, tomorrow is the MRI and you don't know what's happening. And you have to ask the doctors, maybe the doctors don't have time. So you're sitting there and don't have any answers. With I'm at this virtual hospital, you will see, ah, tomorrow is an MRI. What is an MRI? You click it and you get instantly a video. What is happening when you go into the MRI? What is the result? What is the, the idea behind the examination? We have a lot of information and a very interactive journey through the hospital and through the treatment process. Next module that we are launching is I'm at a social medical network and social that is a, um, it's a, it's an own social network that is combined with the system as it is now, where patients can connect to other patients. They can exchange um, ideas, they can form groups, they can support themselves and each other. They can, you know, um, let's talk about chronic diseases. It's always good to talk to a doctor, but it's even better to talk to people that have the same condition. So maybe you have like there are multiple sclerosis and you want to talk to other patients because, you know, when you talk to the doctor, the doctor tells you, yeah, everything will be fine if you believe them. But you say, yeah, you are, you are good because you don't have the disease. But I want to talk to people that have the same condition. That will be, I'm at a social network where people interact with each other and it will be a very interactive experience. We will also have some functionality. To, who knows if you clubhouse, so we will have like stages where doctors, nurses, or patients can discuss and talk. And mm, so an interactive pot basically that's taking place. Mm, the good thing about the system is it's, you know, when, when, I, when it comes to the security measures, we are monitoring the system in real time. Um, so everyone knows what's happening and we are knowing when there is a security issue, when there is a, an, a if someone tries to breach the system. So we have a lot of things going up in the background that prevent um, security breaches. Um, we are having uh, white attackers that are supporting us constantly and trying to breach the system. So everyone knows that the system is as, as safe as it is as, as possible, right? Um, yeah, what can I tell you more? So we are already active with the platform. The company is, has been founded in the end of 2017. The latest platform version is live since 2020. Um, the company is cash positive, so we are earning already money with the company and it's, it's going well. Um, we are on several continents in Europe, in Asia, and Middle East. We are now expanding to the United States, to China, to Australia. Um, yeah, and we are expanding the system continuously. So if you want to know more about the system, you can drop me an email. I hope you see you in my email. I've, I've seen it flipped on my screen. I hope you see it correctly and go to the website, you can download our technical paper. And um, yeah, just let me know if you if you need more information and if you want to get in touch, we would be happy. And we are also very happy about cooperation. So we are glad if someone from another company approaches us and says, hey, I have an idea to work together. We are very open for that. Um, yeah, so then thank you very much for listening and wish you all a wonderful day. And let me know if I can I can tell you more about MS. Stay healthy and safe all the time.